Hi, so my name is Fabien Roque, I'm French and I'm working here at MIT in the Karl Wunsch group. So I'm going to present you uh, very shortly the part of my work as an oceanographer. Uh, so I prepared some uh, pictures so that you can see uh, what I'm talking about. So here you can see a picture that I, I took on the Kerguelen Islands, which are in the middle of the Southern Ocean. So it's a, a very uh, good um, experience that I had last year. And uh, here you can see a fur seal, which is uh, sleeping on some uh, grass uh, um, and behind uh, some uh, mountains of uh, these so big Kerguelen Islands, uh, they are French islands. And so me, I, uh, I went there to study the circulation of the ocean in the Southern Ocean. So to get some basic ideas of how um, the ocean is circulating uh, in the Southern Ocean, uh, I show you here a, a map. So in the middle, you can see the Antarctic continent. And around, uh, you can see these three black lines, which represent the main pathway of uh, water uh, along what we call the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, which is the strongest current in the world ocean. And uh, during my PhD, I particularly focused on some specific region, uh, which you can see here, which is the Kerguelen Plateau. So it's an uh, elongated uh, plateau uh, in the Indian sector of the Southern Ocean. To study the circulation around this uh, area, I used basically two kinds of tools, which are direct observations and ocean models. And uh, amongst these observations that I used, I used a very interesting uh, technology, new technology, which is uh, to put uh, on elephant seals some devices that can record uh, temperature and salinity along the, the track of uh, these elephant seals. So the device that we put is a miniaturized, miniaturized version um, of a fundamental tool for ocean oceanographers, which is a, what we call a CTD for conductivity temperature depth. So here you can see the antenna is used to transmit to a satellite the data. And then these data are uh, recorded using a temperature sensor, a conductivity sensor, and a pressure sensor. So with this, we can have profiles, which means data uh, along the vertical depths of temperature and salinity. And so we can deduce the density of seawater. And actually, the elephant seal did a very impressive job because we got data almost everywhere in the Southern Ocean, as you can see on, on this map. Each line represents some data that we received uh, by some uh, elephant seals. So right now, more than 200 elephant seals has been equipped during a, a season uh, using these devices. So this really allowed us to um, study the circulation around the Kagan Plateau and in particular, we, we could find a, 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 a major branch of uh, the Antarctic Circumpolar Current uh, going in the middle uh, of the Kagan Plateau. So uh, then, during my PhD too, I went on sea to have really the best data we could uh, get uh, using like uh, a cr uh, oceanography, an oceanographic crew, sorry. Um, over the Kerguelen Plateau. And so, as you can see on this picture, like this, uh, there are two main branches for the Antarctic Circumpolar Current in the area of the Kerguelen Plateau. This has been deduced from this direct observation in this area. So that's, that was the main result of my PhD. One year ago, I uh, arrived at MIT and to start a new uh, study, and um, with Carl Wunsch. And uh, this study is about how the wind is uh, activating the ocean circulation. And um, this work was from an energetic uh, point of view, which means 
we want to understand how the wind is actually putting energy into the ocean uh, and how this energy is uh, real is actually inducing uh, the ocean currents, the movement of the ocean. So to uh, do uh, to do this, uh, we have I have to say a, a few words about the basic theories of the ocean circulation. So I will sh uh, I present here a very um, classical uh, picture of the ocean circulation in the upper, upper panel, which is the sea surface height. So the sea surface height means that actually the ocean is not flat. The ocean, is, uh, the, the ocean surface is curved. And uh, in fact, where you have the curve of the ocean surface, you also have a current. It's a very fundamental law of the ocean. And in the specific case of the Southern Ocean, you can see that we have a region of uh, transition between some lightly positive value in the north, around 30 degrees south, and in the south we have very negative, uh, very low sea surface height. And this region of transition is actually the Antarctic circumpolar current that I was speaking about uh, a bit earlier. So to understand uh, how this current is, um, is um, um, created, uh, we have to understand how the wind is actually blowing and acting on the ocean. This action is done through what we call the Ekman pumping. So the Ekman pumping is a vertical pumping of the water masses induced by the wind. So without going into too much detail, you can see on the map uh, the, lo the, the lower panel uh, a map of this vertical pumping. When it's red, it means that the effect of wind is to bring water from uh, deep, uh, the, the deepest part of the ocean, toward the surface. While when it's blue, on the contrary, we have um, a downward pumping, which means that we are pushing surface water toward the interior of the ocean. And so my question was to understand how this pumping uh, is related uh, to the topography of the sea surface height and to understand from the energetical point of view uh, how this pumping actually is putting energy into the ocean. So the type of energy that it is putting is what we call kinetic energy, which is the energy uh, coming from the movement of the ocean. So this work is still in progress and uh, I have to say I'm really greatly helped by all the oceanograph oceanographic team here at MIT and especially by uh, my supervisor Carl Wunsch which is a really uh, great person to work with and uh, yeah I hope uh, you will hear about this work uh, a bit more later. <laughs>